Hello, everybody. This is Steve Guzzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements playing with some of the titling features. Now, in other tutorials, we've talked about titling animation or title animation. I'm going to open up my title here just by double clicking it on the timeline. That opens up my title adjustment workspace. And under the animation tab, we have some preset animations. These are little animations that can make your letters dance around or your words dance around on screen. And they're a lot of fun. And some of them are in and some of them are out. In are animations which bring your text, your letters, your title into or onto the screen. And then outs are things that take them off the screen. So this animation here, focus in, would give us a nice slow zoom. Matter of fact, I'm going to apply it to this particular title just by clicking so that my mouse cursor is inside the title itself, inside the word block. I'll select the title animation and click apply. So there it is applied. And if I were to come back out to my timeline and play the movie, you'd see that we have a little animation where the text sort of zooms in. Very nice. The challenge with title animation, let's double click and open it up again, is that you can only have one animation applied to a text block at a time. So I like that there's kind of a cool animation of summer fun, the word summer fun coming onto the screen, but I would like animation to take it off screen also. How do I apply that? Well, unfortunately, one of the limitations of animation is that you can only apply one animation at a time to a block of text. But here is our movie picks workaround for that, our movie picks trick. By the way, I'm going to add an extra bonus here because the speed of this animation is determined by how long the clip is on your timeline. So I'm actually going to take this title and triplicate it. I'm going to make three copies of it, duplicate it and duplicate it again. But first I'm going down to the timeline. I'm going to make this title very short so that our animation, our zoom in animation will happen very, very quickly. And then I'm going to Project Assets. Here's my title. I'm going to duplicate it. Now, very important, don't copy and paste it. If you copy and paste it, you're going to make a clone and this trick won't work. You need to select Duplicate. That will make another copy of this title, but it's unconnected to the first. So we can make changes to each of the duplicates. You can't make changes to a copy without that change applying to all copies. Very important distinction. I'm going to duplicate it one more time. Now I have three copies, separate copies of the title. I'm going to drag the second one to the timeline, make it also very short. And then we'll grab the third one and drag it to the timeline, make it also really short. Now at present, all three of these titles have that same animation applied to them. But I'm going to double click on the second duplicate. Let's close Project Assets. Double click on the second duplicate. And I'm going to remove the animation completely. So I'm going to click so that my mouse cursor is in the title or in the text block. I'm going to click remove. Now this copy of the title or this duplicate of the title has no animation at all. Then I'm going to double click on the third title. And although it may look the same, these are going to have three different animations applied. I'm going to select it again with my mouse cursor in the middle of the text. We'll remove the animation and I'm going to choose focus out this time and apply focus out to the third title. Very important that these are duplicates and not copies. Again, if they were copies, all three are going to behave the same way. But since we made duplicates, they all look the same, but they're, each title is going to animate differently. So let's go ahead and close our adjustments panel. We'll just do it by clicking on the timeline itself. I'm going to zoom in on the timeline just by using the plus and minus keys, plus plus to zoom in. We'll shorten the animation a little on that second title. Now what we've done here is created our three separate titles. The first one is going to zoom in. The second one is going to not have any animation at all applied to it. So it's just going to stay stationary on screen. And then the third, will be the focus out. So it's actually the text is actually going to move off screen. And then just to make sure that we get a nice clean view of what this animation will look like, I'm going to press the enter key or, or the return key on my keyboard 
and just render the timeline so that we're not looking at a render on the fly, which can sometimes be a little jumpy or jagged. We're going to see a nice smooth render of the results. So just take a second or so for it all to render. That little green line that you're seeing above the top of the timeline is our rendered, or it represents the rendered footage. And okay, now the timeline is rendered. Let's see how it looks. We should have our title roll in, stay stationary, and then roll out. And that's how you add two different animations to the same title. Now, if you want to know more about tricks like this, be sure and check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepicks.com. If you want to know everything about this program, what makes it tick, how every tool works, you want to pick up a copy of the moviepicks.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. You'll find that at amazon.com. I'm the guy who wrote the book. My name's Steve. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.